Greetings friends and welcome once again to my game room. I'm David McCord and I'm a, a game collector and game designer, game maker. And uh, I would like to tell you today about a game called Branduv. Branduv is an ancient game from Ireland. It's one of the Taffel games. Uh, Taffel is the Norse word for table. And when the Vikings uh, invaded the British Isles, they brought with them some of their table games. Um, some of the most popular Tablut and uh, Naftafel games. Uh, they're very popular. Uh, Branduv is the little brother of those, played on a smaller board. And it's related to a Welsh game called Talbird, um, which is another of the Tafel uh, family of games. Now, Branduv in particular is based on a, f a finding in Ballandary, Ireland, uh, called the Ballandary Board, which is a 10th century uh, game board. That's a 7x7 seven seven array of peg holes on a board with Celtic designs. The original rules to the game, like a lot of ancient games, um, are a bit shrouded in the mists of time. So nobody knows exactly how the game was played back in the day, but there's enough that survives of the Taffel family of games to uh, surmise how that game might have been played. There are variations and uh, we'll tell you a little bit about those in just a second. So here are the modern rules to the game Branduf. The Branduf board is an array of 49 spaces. The center space representing the king's throne. The king, the red peg, starts the game on the throne and the guards are positioned as shown forming a cross in the center of the board. The invaders start the game surrounding the field ready for a siege. The objective of the defender is to get the king off the board to safety, literally to move the king peg off the board. The invaders hope to trap the king before that can happen. Let's take the pieces off the board for a bit to illustrate a few things about their movements. First, note that the king is the only piece that can rest on the throne at the center of the board. Other pieces can pass through this space, but not stop there. All the pieces move orthogonally in a straight line as far as the player wants, or until another piece blocks the way. In other words, they all move like chess rooks. Captures are made by a technique called flanking, or custodial capture. For example, if black moves like so, the white piece is captured and removed from the board. It's possible to capture two opposing pieces in one move, like so. It's even possible, but very rare, to capture three in one move. The one exception is the king, who cannot be captured. Rather, the king can be trapped by being surrounded on all four sides by invaders, or surrounded on three sides and the throne. This is the objective of the invading player. Oh, and one more note. There are no suicide moves in this game. A peg can be moved into position between two enemy pieces without being removed from the game. So let's put the pieces back into the starting positions and watch a few turns being played. The invading white player always goes first. Many players have concluded that the game is not well balanced and the king will escape most of the time. For this reason it's generally played in a series of games, switching sides to even the odds. Even so, it's a fun version of the Viking Taffel games. There are other variants, as with most ancient games. The game of Fichnil is played on the same board, but with a different starting arrangement for the pieces. In Fichnil, the king must reach one of the corners, can only move one space per turn, and can be trapped against the edge of the board, surrounded on three sides. I must point out that there is a little bit of confusion about the name of these historic games. Occasionally you'll see Fitchell referred to as Branduv and Branduv referred to as Fitchell. Uh, but they can both be played with this particular uh, set that we sell that has uh, enough pieces and the rules to both of those games in the same box. The largest Taffel game that was ever discovered uh, was called Elia Evangelii. And that was played on a 19 by 19 grid. 
had 48 attacking pieces and 24 defending pieces. And supposedly it was put together as a kind of a Christian allegory. The original rules were found in an 11th century Irish manuscript. And uh, the name of the game, uh, Elia Evangelii, means game of the Gospels. But unfortunately, the rules to the game that were reflected in that manuscript were completely contradictory and unplayable. Uh, nobody really knows if the game was ever played or if it was just somebody's idea. But there are many variants and different members of the Taffel family uh, that are pretty much played in a similar fashion with uh, asymmetrical goals for the two players. This particular version of Branduv is part of our Peg Pastime series from New Venture Games distributed by Red Hand Toys and uh, we definitely invite you to check that out. Um, if you like what you see here and uh, would like to hear more about ancient games from around the world or uh, even modern games that uh, you may have uh, been curious about and even some newer games that don't even exist yet, this is the place to be. Uh, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel and come back often. We will have uh, more in future episodes. If you have requests or questions, you can definitely uh, send them along my way and we'll see if we can uh, address those in the future too. So I thank you very much for tuning in and as I always say sometimes, be sure to play every day.